Brussels, Belgium's capital, is well known for its chocolate, cheese, and history. It is because of this combination of attributes that it is such a popular tourist destination for people from all walks of life. There's nothing like savoring some high-end chocolate while admiring architectural marvels that bear the weight of a lengthy history. And this is something you should certainly do if you visit Brussels. Despite the fact that Brussels is a tiny city, it is not always easy to navigate. You don't want to miss out on some of the city's greatest, quirkiest, and tastiest attractions when you visit. That is why we have made this video of the finest things to do in Brussels. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our new content. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Grand Plaza The Grand Plaza is located in the center of Brussels and is one of Europe's most well-preserved districts. Guild buildings have wonderful masonry and gold ornamentation in a Baroque style with Flemish influences and the architecture in this area is truly spectacular. In addition, there are some famous Brussels must-see structures in this neighborhood that you should see. The structures in this region are both historically significant and wonderfully attractive, so you'll want to take your time looking at them. After that, don't forget to photograph the historic Hotel de Villa, or Town Hall, which was built in 1402. When you've had your fill of taking pictures, Relax at one of the area's cafes or restaurants while taking in the breathtaking scenery. 2. The Royal Palace The most notable edifice on this area is the Royal Palace, which serves as the official house of the Belgian royal family. It is a popular photo location. The sovereign's presence is signaled by the Belgian flag flying from the roof, and a formal changing of the guard takes place every day about 2.30 p.m. Free guided tours of the palace's interior, including the large reception rooms and halls, are accessible from late July to late August. An assemblage of cultural buildings with neoclassical facades surrounds the palace. The Academy Palace, which houses the Royal Academy of Sciences and was previously the residence of the Crown Prince of Orange, and the Palace of Fine Arts, which was designed and built by Victor Horton in the 1920s, are two of the best examples. 3. The Mannequin Piss The Mannequin Piss Brussels' most famous landmark is typically thronged by tourists. Although the statue of a little boy urinating, popularly regarded as the oldest citizen of Brussels, may be traced back to at least 1388, but little is known about his origins. The mannequin piss, on the other hand, is shrouded in myth. According to one legend, the fountain honors a brave newborn who stopped a blaze, while another claims it honors the son of a count who succumbed to a pressing urge while participating in a procession. The current statue, created by Jerome Duquesnoy, the elder, in 1619, has been stolen multiple times, but has always been recovered. The monument is famous for dressing up in costume for big celebrations, events, and festivals in Brussels. 4. St. Michael Cathedral The patron saints of Brussels, St. Michael and St. Gugula, are honored in this Gothic church. It was founded in 1225 but did not reach completion until the 15th century. It is a magnificent example of Gothic architecture. It has 69-meter-high towers on top and is luxuriously decorated on the inside. The building's exterior is gorgeous, but the interior will take your breath away. Make sure you take the time to look at the stained glass windows. Charles V and Isabella of Portugal are shown in the south transept, while Louis II and Mary are depicted in the north transept. Inside, there's also a chapel called the Chapel of the Holy Sacrament, where the stained glass shows the miracle of the host, which you should see. 5. Kautenberg Palace Archaeological Site It's not every day that you get to visit an active archaeological site. However, this is your chance. Researchers have discovered countless tunnels and lost alleys around the former castle since its discovery in the 1980s, all of which have been buried by time and forgotten until lately. Add this to your Brussels bucket list if you're interested in touring a medieval palace and learning about its secrets. Set aside some time to explore this site. The palace's foundations have been cleared for tourists, and free audio guides are provided to help you better comprehend what you're seeing and why it's important. This is also one of the greatest places to take the kids in Brussels, as the museum offers interactive programs that engage them in the adventures. 6. Montes Arts the Mont des Arts was constructed between 1956 and 1958, and it is a modern structure that somehow blends in with the neighboring buildings. The site is a collection of modern buildings that houses the city's library, national archives, and meeting center, and is located between the Royal Palace and the Place d'Alberti. 
If you're looking for vacation ideas in Brussels, this is a terrific place to start because it's close to the majority of the city's greatest tourist attractions. The complex also has a spectacular perspective of Brussels. You can view everything from the Grand Palace to the Atomium and all in between from the elevated buildings. The Royal Square and the St. Jacques on the Kautenberg can be seen from the other end of the building. 7. Simcontent Air Park This park was built in 1880 to mark the country's 50th anniversary. When it's sunny in Brussels, everyone flocks to this park to soak up the rays. It's crucial to get out in nature occasionally in a bustling contemporary metropolis, and this is the easiest and quickest method to do so. If you're a war enthusiast, there's also an excellent museum in the park called the Royal Museum of the Armed Forces and Military History. This is the ideal location for a picnic, cycling, or simply taking in the views and sounds of nature right in the heart of the city. So, on a weekend in Brussels, take a picnic and eat it on the grass, or simply relax beside the fountain. Saturdays are always the best day for people watching. 8. National Basilica of the Sacred Heart The huge National Basilica of the Sacred Heart in Kokelberg is the world's fifth largest church and Leopold II's brainchild. Its construction was started in 1905 to commemorate the country's 75th anniversary. The structure was only finished in 1970. It exhibits a combination of styles, as one might expect, but it still dazzles with its sheer size, which is 141 by 107 meters. There is an amazing collection of art on the inside, as well as an ongoing exhibition about the Basilica's history. George's men painted the painting of Christ bestowing his blessing that hangs over the altar. The view of the city and the countryside to Antwerp from the cupola is spectacular. On-site binocular rentals are available. 9. Royal Gallery of St. Hubert This is one of the top spots to visit in Brussels for those who enjoy shopping. This indoor shopping center, built in the mid-19th century, is far more gorgeous than your usual mall. Even if you don't plan on buying, the shopping center's rich decorating, arch windows, and rustic styling make it a beautiful destination to visit. The King's Gallery, the Queen's Gallery, and the Prince's Gallery are the three halls. All three are long and airy, with high ceilings, making them ideal for window shopping on a rainy day. Royal Gallery of St. Hubert is Europe's first covered retail arcade, and if you're a shopper, you must go to this fantastic location in Brussels. Designed by architect Jean-Pierre Kleissenaer between 1846 and 1847, it has attracted a large number of tourists every year since then. 10. The Atomium For the 1958 Brussels World Exhibition, architect André Waterkind developed the Atomium, a surreal-looking structure. It's a 102-meter-high aluminum and steel attraction shaped like a 165 fold magnified iron molecule. So, if you've ever wanted to see what iron looks like up close and personal, now's your opportunity. The tram ride to the location of this Brussels must-see is well worth it, owing to its unusual appearance. Make sure to explore the interior as well, where four of the nine spheres exhibit a presentation called Biogenium about human life. Otherwise, just snap a bunch of selfies in front of this attraction because it makes for a terrific backdrop.